Welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. I'm Jeff Phillips and uh, today we're going to show you how to use Inkscape to generate accurate uh, graphs for use in worksheets and tests. First of all, press 1 to zoom 1 to 1 if you haven't uh, got that zoom level already. Then click the rectangle tool and drag a rectangle the size of the, the graph approximately that you want. Then we go up to Extensions render and function plotter and another window will come up enter your start x value and end x value you can see I've used negative 3 to 2 and negative 5 to 10 and I've typed in a function down here a cubic function I've also changed the number of samples to 200 otherwise you get a, a jaggy type graph so I find 200 is a good, good number I don't want a rectangle around the finished product and you can select the axes or not, you can draw your own later, but I've left these two ticked. Then go, apply. look you can have a look at a live preview, if you click that uh, box. Sometimes that allows you, that's a good idea, it allows you to make changes before you finish. Uh, I think I'll uh, leave that and click apply. And, oh, don't have to, I've already done it. I'll just close. Now you might want to reduce the number of points here in the in the cubic. Uh, one way to do that is to cut cut the path. Uh, another is to just draw another rectangle, say around here, and it can act as a cookie cutter over the function if we select both. So I'll go to the select tool, select rectangle selected, select the graph and axes, go path. Uh, let's see, I think we'll go path um, difference and that's had an unexpected result so I'll control Z to undo there try again, shift, select, path perhaps uh, cut path and click off and if I click this bit I might have to break apart, it's sort of grouped together somehow, so if I select both, go path, break apart, I can select that one and delete, yep, and that's done it. I can select that line and put an arrowhead on it if it hasn't already, I don't think that it uh, automatically does that in the graphing function. So I'll bring up the stroke and fill menu, or toolbox. Here it is, and the under stroke style I can choose a start and end arrow. Not sure which is the start and end, I'll just uh, try here. So that one, don't want that, so I control Z. So it must be this one, the other end, and try that. Yep, that might be a bit big. Uh, you can try smaller ones perhaps. Not sure what we've got down here. No, look, it's fairly limited in Inkscape, so. Oh, maybe that one's a bit better. Try that one. Yeah, that's better. Then click on this axis and do the same thing. The quite small one. Click off and there we have it. If you want to make the axes a bit thinner, both of them at the same time, shift click to select both and change it to say 0.7. Enter. That's OK. Some of us really like a coloured graph, so I can click on that. You might uh, be tempted to click the red, but that'll fill, try and fill the graph in a strange way there. So I'll control Z. Hold in the shift key if it's the stroke that you want to fill with colour. And there we go. Uh, you can label the graph uh, with the text tool if you need to, but uh, that concludes the, the basic graphing functionality in Inkscape. Thanks for watching.